Hello and welcome to yet another Mythbusters video. Today we will be testing the new gadgets and interactions with the new operators from the Operation White Noise. So starting off with myth number one. If a dead defense operator drops a phone near a mute jammer, the OKB will not be able to hack it or even see it. Okay. Hacking. So what you can see from this interaction, the mute jammer actually does block the phone from actually being hacked or seen by the Dokebi, so she cannot hack it. Myth number two, Bandit destroys the phone if it drops on a banded wire. So what you can see from this interaction is that the phone is being treated as a device, so if it drops on a banded wire, it is getting instantly destroyed. Myth number three, it is not that much different from the last one and it says the Thatcher can destroy the phones when the enemy drops them by tossing his EMP grenade. As for this interaction, even though the phone is, you know, considered as a device, it is still not destroyed when tossing an EMP grenade. I do not know if this is a bug or a lost feature in the game, but it would be kind of cool if Thatcher could also destroy the phone as it is regarded as a device. Myth number four, also not that much different from the last myth. The Twitch drone can destroy the phones from the dead operators. Yeah, I'm just trying to get them out. She's my drone. Starting shock drone. Right, so where's the phone? Right. Yeah, you can. So what you can see from this interaction, the Twitch actually does work when she uses her Twitch round to zap the phones and it is instantly destroyed and you, of course, get some minus points if you do that. So if you're a Twitch, don't do that and let's just okay, be hack the phones themselves. Myth number five, Vigil blocks enemy hacked the okay, be cameras from seeing him. Yeah, now two seconds, keep watching. Can you see me? Can you see me? So what you can see from this interaction is not only the drones can be deceived, but also the hacked cameras from your defense side, as you will see the little interaction with the camera itself or on it. Myth number six, Vigil isn't seen by IQ if he is near a mute channel. During the container once the threat is neutralized. Even though the mute jammer does prevent Dokabi from seeing the phone itself, when it's IQ, she will both see the jammer and the vigil if he has his ability active. Myth number seven, vigil shotgun can break plain windows and it has the same interaction as the glass sniper. As you can see from this interaction, Vigil Shotgun can indeed break plain windows and it acts like a glass sniper. So if you're playing with a shotgun from Korean operators, you can definitely break windows and shoot through them. Myth number eight, Dokobi cannot buzz the enemy phones if they are near the mute jammers. Yes, activate the call. So from this interaction you can actually see that the mute jammer blocks the Dokobi from calling the operator's phones. So if you're a defender, just stand close near the jammer and you won't actually get buzzed by the Dokobi ability. Myth number 9, IQ can see the phones that are buzzing when the Dokobi uses her ability. The container. Right, everyone back against the wall. Hostile activity. Resume securing the container once the threat is neutralized. Container detected. So what you can see from the previous interaction, you can see the phones that are buzzing when Dokobi uses her ability as it is regarded as a gadget. Myth number 10. Sophia can use her charges through a bullet hole.
So what you can see from this interaction, the Sophia stun and the breaching charges can both go through a single bullet hole made by a weapon. And they will react normally against people or the walls if they are in front and they are breachable. Myth number 11, Echo stuns prevent Sophia from getting up with her ability. So from this interaction you can see that Echo does not prevent Sophia from getting up with her ability so she can use it and not get interrupted. Myth number 12, Echo stun prevents Dokabi from using her skills. I have one. Also with these interactions as you can see it doesn't prevent either hacking or buzzing the enemy phones from interacting. So even if you use the Echo Stun, you will not get an interrupt on her abilities. Myth number 13, when Sophia is using her ability to get up and if by any chance the doc heals her, he will not actually get a heal on her and she will get up only on one HP. Hold on, Ella, come with me, Ella, come with me. Show me how you got up there, Yuri. So from this interaction, you see that it does not work. So once the Sophia is trying to get up, not only will she not get up by the doc's heal, but she will not receive the heal itself. Myth number 14, if a Valkyrie tosses a camera after they have been hacked, the camera that has been tossed after the hack will not be hacked itself. So from this we can see that it does not matter if the Valkyrie tosses the camera before or after the hack because the Dokabi will see them all no matter what. Myth number 15, Sophia's stun charge can go below the door and through a drone hole. So what we can see from this interaction is that if used properly the launcher can be used below the door or even through the drone holes and enable some really good clutches. Myth number 16, Sophia can get herself up from a frost trap. Walk, walk into a frost map. No, but dude, what? I, I will, I will, no I will because you only... No, you have Sophia. Even though you all expected it to maybe work, the interaction with the frost trap does not actually work unless you get a friendly operator to get you out of the frost trap. So using the Sophia's get up ability does not work to release yourself from a frost trap. Myth number 17, Sophia can break the interrogation if she uses her ability to get up before she gets interrogated. Ah, now you're stuck. Oh. Oh. So with this interaction you can see that she cannot actually break the Carreras interaction where she interrogates an operator, so it does not work. Myth number 18, Sophia can destroy castles and shields. So this is pretty much a confirmed myth because she does fire impact grenades so she can destroy both castles and shields easily. Myth number 19, if Dokabi and Thatcher use their gadgets at the same time and the defender phone rings, the Thatcher can jam the phones themselves. Holding a meeting. Even though this interaction sounds weird and maybe would work, it doesn't. So even though the phones are devices, they cannot get attached at all. So this interaction does not work. 
And the last myth today, the myth number 20, is that the Valve cameras that have been jammed cannot be seen by Dokabi. Even though the mid sounds cool in theory, it does not work. So the mute jammer does not prevent Dokabi from seeing a Valkyrie camera. So all in all, that will be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. If you have any questions about the mitts or you have some extra mitts that you want to post, post them down below in the comment section and I'll be reading them out or maybe doing an extra video on them too. And of course, if you would like to see more of these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I will be making more videos on the new operators from the Operation White Noise. But yeah, until the next time, guys, I really hope you enjoyed playing the test servers and testing out the new operators. So until the next time, I'll be seeing you guys. Bye-bye.